Item 10C, adopt a resolution authorizing the city manager to execute a contract in the amount of $70,135 with Civica Software to provide city website redesign and hosting services. Good evening, Honorable Mayor and members of the City Council. My name is Eric Jackson. I'm the IT manager, and I'm here tonight on behalf of our website committee uh, to request that you authorize the execution of a website redesign and hosting services contract with Civica Software. The website redesign project was included in our 2014 and 2019 capital improvement program budget, and our last major upgrade to our website was in 2008, over seven years ago. And due to customer service expectations and innovations in technology, websites are now evolving from just information archives to portals where our visitors can actually uh, uh, access city services and conduct city business. And many of our neighboring cities are now uh, following that trend. And aware of that trend, the City Council identified the redesign of our web website as a directive and a high priority. And to achieve this directive, a website committee was formed comprised of all city staff, uh, I'm sorry, comprised of city staff from all departments who are the largest contributors to our content uh, editing and website support. The committee's task was to identify features and services to include on the new website and to create a very comprehensive request for proposals or RFP. The goals of the RFP was to select a vendor that would focus on the delivery of services to our citizens and assist with creating an appealing, and, uh, an appealing design and modern looking feel website, uh, meet or exceed ADA requirements, and provide multi-language support. Also to integrate a responsive design so that web pages when viewed will automatically adjust or scale properly when they're viewed on mobile devices, web browsers, and various screen sizes. We also wish to improve the search capabilities and navigation features for our visitors. Also to provide an efficient method for our citizens to submit requests, questions, or suggestions, and to automatically send them updates, status updates on their requests. Uh, to create a library of fillable forms, provide utility service signups, renew business license applications, apply for simple permits, schedule inspections, provide access to and integration with our recently upgraded GIS system. The RFP process generated nine responses, and the committee reviewed each, res each response and identified three top vendors that best demonst demonstrated their ability to design the website envisioned. Department heads and, council and committee members, I'm sorry, attended demonstrations and graded each of the three vendors using a scoring matrix, matrix which included rankings for the citizen request modules, compatibility with browsers, mobile device compatibility, impressions of other sites they created, ease of adding content and maintaining the site and web pages, project development and implementation plan, and training. Civica software was selected as the best fit for the city of San Bruno needs. The committee determined that Civica's implementations of their, citi their citizen engagement module, which automates the submission of service requests to city staff for action, best met the needs of the city. And two examples are seen behind me which would be the City of Palo Alto and the City of Thousand Oaks implementation of this module. Also, Civica's My Portal and the City of Santa, uh, one more, uh, the City of, I'm sorry, <laughs> the City of Santa Barbara's uh, version of My SB is shown behind me. Let's go back just one. One more. One more. There we are, yeah. So this is the My SB, my, the My Portal. And in this, um, uh, in this example here, again, City of Santa Barbara, this is their MySP portal. And again, the visitor can customize their visit to the web page by having their own custom landing page so they can modify um, their pages, their favorite pages, modify the charms bar, follow news and calendar feeds, and set notifications. And this is customized just for that, that particular visitor. visitor. Also, uh, Civica's content management tools, which is used to edit the web pages, 
their emergency notification and alert tools, calendar features, and Civica's project uh, development implementation plan best met San Bruno's needs and vision of the redesigned website. And they also uh, seemed like they were the best qualified for the, our redesign partner. A few of the local clients of Civica include the city of Palo Alto, the city of Livermore, and the city of Mountain View. The website redesign project will also merge or integrate three websites, including the San Bruno Cable TV web website, sanbrunocable.com, our community development website, planbruno.org, and the San Bruno Water website, sanbrunowater.ca.gov. If approved, an online survey will be added to our existing website to obtain feedback from our citizens of requested features and services. And shortly thereafter, an analysis of the survey data and decisions made regarding content migration, layout, and design features will occur quickly. And as mentioned in the study sessions held in December, not all the features in the RFP will be implemented. A realistic study of the actual value to our citizens and a study of the staff resources needed uh, or required to maintain the website features must be evaluated. But the comprehensive RFP specification should allow us the flexibility to implement as many features as desired without additional cost. And the project is estimated to take approximately 24 weeks from kickoff in early February to August of 2015. And the committee, we purposely dedicated more time on the specifications of the RFP so that the upcoming development and implementation st stages would move along rather quick, more quickly and smoothly. The 2014 and 2019 Capital Improvement Program budget includes $90,000 to cover the cost of the website project. The first year's annual maintenance is included in the project in the project contract amount. The following years will be $11,760 per year for the maintenance and support and $4,800 per year for the hosting services. The website committee is appreciative of the council's support for being a proponent of this long-awaited project. This, con con this concludes my presentation, and I'll be happy to take any questions or comments at this time. Any questions for staff? Who's the chair? Michael. Uh, can you uh, repeat the numbers that you just gave us there at the end regarding the, um, the hosting, the breakdown of what it's going to cost to host and what it's going to cost for maintenance? Right. The first year's maintenance and support is con included in the contract amount. Okay. Uh, 16000 Yeah. Subsequent years for maintenance and support is $11,760 per year. And our web hosting services are $4,800 $4, per year. $4,800 right. per year. And what, what do we currently pay for web hosting? Right now, the hosting is done in-house. So we pay There's no cost. Okay. And what do we, what does the maintenance cover? You said that there, they would implement any of the additional features that were within the scope of the RFP at no charge. So what, what does the maintenance cover? Is that uh, additional changes, ongoing changes? or That would cover software upgrades to their content management system. Uh, again, problems with pages loading, uh, problems with us implementing different features. Uh, most of that will be covered under the support, the support, the support I'm sorry, and maintenance contract. So city staff will be responsible pr for, the, for the content, for updating it, keeping it current. The maintenance is just for supporting their back-end structure. That's correct. Okay. That's correct. Okay. Thank you. Anyone else? Through yeah. the chair? Oh. Uh, Irene. <laughs> Sorry. So Eric, will there be a time period where we kind of test run it and then make suggestions or have the ability to make suggestions for changes and then launch it? Is there going to be... That's that kind correct. of thing? I mean, the that council will, particularly? Yeah, that will probably be the longest uh, part of this project is getting the design and layout and content um, migration features implemented and also testing. And we do, again, we welcome any comments from the council and we also will uh, uh, have the online survey available for our citizens and visitors to make comments and suggestions regarding the features and services they, they might want. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm a little, sh a little 
unclear on how this is going to work. So they're going to, so you put in your RFP, they're going to design it around what we've asked them to do, and then is that like a draft kind of thing? And then people are going to respond to that? Or well, yeah, the RFP states they have to provide three templates of okay. the design that they envision for us. And keep in mind that this is still going to be our project, we own the project. Right. And we can reject their proposals. And we have quite a few very creative people on the committee that we are hopeful will assist with us getting that appealing, looking, appealing design and a, a nice, attractive um, um, look and feel to the website. Uh, um, yeah, is it, do you, are you referring to more like a beta test? I, I suppose yeah. so. Okay. <laughs> I'm not sure yeah. what a beta test is. <laughs> what, you don't know so, what a beta test so is? So they do all that, and then uh, are the residents and the council are going to be able to see those and say, I like A over B, B over C, or, or is that going to be done in-house and then we could probably Yeah, we could do it probably several ways. We can come back and give you status updates and then let you know where we are in the milestones. And at, if that time, at that time, the council, again, you're welcome to uh, come in and, and, and submit comments um, and assist us with the overall uh, completion of the, of the pro product before it's launched. Okay, so yes, I am asking for an opportunity to come in and say, no, really, Eric, not this one, this one, or at least that's my opinion of it. So. You'll be able to set that up for us and let us know when we can Definitely come in. welcome. Yeah. Okay, great. Thank you. Thanks. Okay. I just want to say that uh, while you were speaking, I went on to Thousand Oaks. That's what I want. <laughs> That's what I want. I mean, he, he it is. Listening. It was so smooth. I mean, it is. It is. I don't know what it is. It's just everything is there that whatever I want to go towards. It's and, easy and, on and the eyes. It's, and it's easy clean. on the eyes, and uh, all, all the uh, the pull down panel. It it's exactly what I'm looking for. It seems. I mean, now until until I d can't find something. <laughs> but it's it's so much better than ours because one, you've got the delay factor, the difficulty in pull down and finding, and uh, this has got everything here, and I I just. I, I remember you saying that that was, you know, that was probably one of your favorites. And then I just, uh, you go to Santa Barbara and those things load so easily and everything is just right there in that front page. And I think that's what we're, that's what we're lacking is what the public really wants to see when they go on the website for just that first impression. And you know, and majority of the people are going to, you know, have everything right there you know, in, in their first their first look and then being able to navigate fairly easily. Yeah, if you have an this touch stuff is, you know, can be sensitive, but this is just so easy. Yeah. If you have an attractive front page, people will stay and they will stay and, and find or look for the services that you offer. And that's what we want. We want people to be engaged in the website. We want them to come to the website, stay, find out what we offer and use those services. Okay. Anyone else? Mr. Rico? Robert Rico, 7th Avenue. Just a real quick question. I, I read the agenda packet, but I don't understand how to, as a web page, ADA compliant. Can you just take a, a minute or so and simply tell me what ADA compliance uh, relates to on a web page? Well, I'm not the expert, but I, I do know that part of the ADA compliance requirements is that uh, those with disabilities or visual, who are visually impaired are able to use readers, devices are called readers, and they can, those readers will read the page content. That is why early on, even in our current website, when we create a page, we have what's called an alternate text. And we type in that text box what the web page is. I'll give you an example for the uh, committee web, uh, sorry, for the council web pages, for the agenda, we type in their regular council agenda and the date. So if a reader goes by that page, and even though our page is old, they'll know what that page represents. That's part of the ADA compliance. And also, if you see on some of the websites that were, uh, on the, that were examples here, some of the boxes would show a small A, a, a medium size A, and a larger A. You can click on that, and the text will get larger. So again, I'm not the expert, but I know enough to make sure that we put those things in the RFP to make sure we're going to be uh, 
serving our citizen well. Thank you. Anyone else? Action by the council. I'll introduce the resolution. Council Member O'Connell. Aye. Council Member Ibarra. Aye. Council Member, M excuse me, Medina. Aye. Vice Mayor Salazar. Aye. Mayor Ruane. Aye.